video, I'm going to run through more features of the Knit Companion software. And if you haven't seen the other videos, I have four other Knit Companion videos out. Click the little eye in the upper right hand corner or look for the link in the video description field below on YouTube to see the other four videos. Um, I'm always concerned that someone who's not familiar with Knit Companion is going to jump in on one of these later videos that I'm putting out and think, oh, that's too complicated. I don't want to do that <laughs> because it's really not very complicated, but we are. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's not really complicated, we, but we're getting kind of deep into customizing the software uh, to get your patterns looking exactly how you want them so that you can just keep knitting. But really, if you haven't tried Knit Companion or you're just getting started with it, you can use the free version of the software to just it, to open your PDFs, to interact with your patterns, to use the counters, to use the highlighter bar. Those are the features you're going to use the most anyway, and those are part of the free version of the software. If you want to get Knit Companion, you want to, you can go to um, the Apple Play Store or the Google Play Store. I know it's not called the Apple Play Store. I can never remember what it's called. Look for Knit Companion, one word, Knit Companion, and uh, you can download the free version of the software. What I'm going to be talking about here is uh, part of the paid version and part of the iOS, the Apple version. But I have an announcement. This is right now today, August 2020. Next month, September 2020, we are set up to do a video on the Android update. Yeah. I know, I know, me too. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm an Android user. I'm an Android user with an iPad but I'm primarily an Android user, so I'm looking forward to this Android update to get, um, well, I, I don't even know what it's, what's in it yet. I'm gonna be surprised as everyone else, but I'm ready for it. That's next month. So this time, in, in this video, we're going to talk about, like I said earlier, customizing things, making them look exactly how you want them to look so that you can just keep knitting. And what I was thinking was I was getting ready for this video is, once you get everything exactly the way you want it, uh, and you can even set up voice controls for your highlighter bar to move to the next row with text or charts, however you're doing it, and the Knit Companion app doesn't go to sleep while you're, if you're not touching it, you can keep your hands on your needles and your yarn and never actually touch anything. <laughs> it just keeps you knitting, right? Hi an idea I had. Um, okay, I think that's all I had to cover. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about joining parts in pieces and keys, and that'll all make sense as soon as we dive in. Let's take a look. Here we are in the app. I'm going to open this. I'm going to demonstrate on this hat called Branta Hat. I've knit this hat several times. It's by Kimmy Anderson and her marigold fibers. It's very cute. It has some good examples in here for me to demonstrate what we're talking about and getting things set up just the way we want them. Now, in uh, a lot of what I'm gonna cover here, we've talked about in previous um, videos, but I think it's helpful to cover them here as well. When we're customizing stuff, we're adding things so that everything we want appears on a page. There are a couple places that we can do that. The first one is the key. And that's this area down here. And when you add information here, it is available regardless of the page that you're on in Knit Companion. That's always there. The other thing that we can do is make what's called a piece. And that appears up here. And it is essentially another page of the pattern. You, you can create a page of the pattern. Um, it'll just appear one, two, three. It'll be the fourth page of the pattern, however many you want to make. So the first thing we're going to talk about, we're going to review adding a key and then adding in more information to that key. So the first thing I will do is go to setup and the plus that we always use when we're making new things. And I'm going to tap key. And the information that I want to be available to me on every page is on page two. So I'll select that and we get the arrow the blue arrow that we always see when the um, app wants us to highlight what we want. And I'm going to highlight this bit. And when you highlight, it snaps in so that you can tidy up your crop if you want to. That looks good. And the blue highlight, the blue crop button 
is down here highlighted. So I'll tap that once it looks good. Okay, that's my key. Go back to knit. And now regardless of what page I'm on, I'm thinking that I'm gonna be over here on page three looking at the chart. And now I have the written information for the chart available on the same page all together, right? So very handy. But now I'm thinking, gosh, I need more information in this key. I need to add some to this key. So I'm going to go back to setup. And over here, we see pieces, keys, templates. When I tap keys, I only have one key made, so that's the only one that comes up. And I wanna add information to this key, so more of that information appears at the bottom of my screen. This button here, this align button, will let me do that. Again, it wants me to pick the page that it's on. I'll choose two, and Blue Arrow is telling me to highlight what I want. I need this little bit of information there too. Okay, I have what I want to add, and the buttons up here changed. I can tap Align, and now the piece that I just added is outlined in yellow. I can move it around anywhere on here. I'm gonna add it to the beginning here. Um, and once I'm happy with where it's placed, I tap save, and then I'll go back to knit. And now I can work on my chart and have this key information with the added information in there. And I can keep doing this over and over again. I can keep adding more and more information to the key if I like going through those same steps. Okay, so that is using the key and adding information to joining a part, joining more information to the key. The next thing we're going to cover and kind of a review is pieces, adding another page of the pattern. So first I'm going to create, I'm gonna create the world's greatest pattern page. It has everything I want in it. So I tap setup, tap the plus, and I'm going to make a text piece. And the first bit I want on there is, I want, I want the picture on there so I know what I'm working on. I can see the end result. That looks good. Okay, so far, that's my page. You can see it's appearing up here as another page. And what else am I gonna add? I'm going to add that same bit of text that is most of the pattern. This, whoops. Um, Whoops, what am I doing? Okay, no, I'm on this, I'm sorry. I just messed up. I'm still working on this. I want to add to this, so I'm going to tap the Align button again, add a piece, and tap two, because that's what I was trying to do a second ago to get to this information that I want. There's my arrow, that's what I was looking for. Highlight that information, the same information that is really a lot of the hat knitting. Then when I tap a line, this is just what we saw in the key. The bit I just added is outlined in yellow. I can add this anywhere. I'm gonna put it right there. I liked the way the software did it. Save. And I'm not done yet. I'm not done making the world's greatest pattern page with everything I want. So I'm gonna tap that align button again, add another piece, and the one I want's on page three this time. There's my blue arrow. I want the chart. Now, I am going to show you in a moment how we can add chart pieces together to function like a chart um, in, in Knit Companion so that Knit Companion recognizes the rows and columns and you can use your smart counter. If you have not watched that video yet, I recommend watching that. That is a great feature of Knit Companion. I am just going to add this as an image though. I'm not going to add it as a chart piece. So um, and you actually can't combine the two in one piece. So this one is just an image, which is fine. Tap align, there's that. I'm gonna place that right there. That looks good. And I save it and go back to knit. And now I have a page four of the pattern that is all of these things that I chose that I wanted on this page. I can see a picture of the hat, I have the chart, and I have the written instructions for the chart all on this one page. And I really 
this is all I need. I don't have to flip around to see anything. It's all right here. And that's how to make a piece, a new page of the pattern, and add pieces to it. And I can continue adding pieces to this if I want. I don't have to stop at three. Okay, the last thing we're going to talk about are templates. And I'm going to combine two things here. I'm going to combine creating a template um, and using the chart feature in Knit Companion. And we covered that, like I said, in the, in the, chart, um, the chart video. And really, the pieces that we've added here were all individual pieces, but you can create a template that will let you paste the same piece over and over and over and over again. And I think charts is a good way to demonstrate why that might be useful. So I'm going to go to Setup, and I'm going to tap the plus because I'm going to make a chart template. I'm gonna make the template first, and then I'm, I'll make the piece second. And the chart I want's on page three. And there's my blue arrow highlight what I want, clean this up, and Knit Companion's really good about finding the edges of the chart, but I'll get it pretty close. When I'm pretty close, I'll tap the magic wand button here. Boom, look at Knit Companion, you see the yellow lines? It found exactly all of the rows and all of the columns, it's perfect. So I'll tap the crop button, maybe, okay. There is my, my template, done. Go back to knit, I don't have to go back to knit, I'm just going back to knit so I can show you how to get in and out of this every time. I'm going to go to setup, and now I'm going to create a chart piece and add the template that I've already created. Chart piece, and in this case, I am keeping things really simple. I'm going to just use the same chart piece. Whoops, I'm using the same chart piece, but I'm going to tell you in a, once we're done with this, how this can be not so simple and really useful in your knitting. That looks pretty good. Boom, Knit Companion found all of the rows and columns perfectly. I'll crop that. Okay, now I have this new page, this, this uh, chart piece, and because Knit Companion found all the rows and columns, I'll be able to use the one tap marker when I'm using this so that the row that I'm on is highlighted. I can add more chart to this. I'm gonna add more chart to this uh, in, in the template that I created. So I'll tap the align button here. Anytime we add more, we always just tap the align button to whatever we have on the page. Add template. And I only have one template created, so it's the only one that comes up. And now I have the option to put it where I want it again. I'm, I will just leave it there where it landed. I'm gonna add it more and more and more. This is maybe the idea that because this, this, this chart is so tiny, maybe I wanna see more of it. I wanna see more of how the pattern, uh, how the pattern looks when they're, kind, they're stacked together. But I'm gonna tell you I'll give you another example as soon as I finish here. <clears throat> okay, so I have used that template three times on here. That looks good. And now let me, yeah, that looks exactly the way I want it. If I go to knit, you can see that my smart counter has started. I can use voice commands if I want to advance the rows. And the row that I'm on, number one down here, is highlighted. And when I tap the advance counter, it goes through all of the charts that I pieced together perfectly. They snap together perfectly, and you can see how awesome that is and how well that works. Now let's talk for a minute, because I kept it so simple here, let's talk for a minute about how this can be really useful when it isn't this simple. Let's say you're doing a complicated shawl pattern and you have a border and you have a body and you have a left edge, you know, you have all these different charts going on. Those charts might appear on different pages or different sections, they're not lined up. And you want to be able to read the chart just like we have it here where everything, um, you can read across one row that includes the border, the body, and the, the left edge, you know, whatever that might be. You can combine the charts just like I did here and have it all fit together as one row as a new page of the pattern. 
And the reason the templates will come in handy for that is you might have a body section that is, you know, 30 rows and your border is three rows. Create a template out of that border, that little bit of that chart and paste it in 10 times and you have a big perfect block of, of chart that your row counter is going to, um, uh, that the smart counter is going to highlight the row for you all the way through so you can read the row all the way across. And that's where the template will come in handy. And maybe the, the edge over here is five rows. You can create a second template out of that, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it five times. You've matched up to those 30 rows. Awesome, huh? And now when I go, oh, I am on knit, I go back to knit. I have this awesome page put together. I have information in the key that will appear regardless of the page I'm on. And I have the smart counter set up. I can leave that open too. The key's actually handy there. I have the smart counter set up to highlight all of those charts that I put together into one row. And that's it. Again, if you want to get the Knit Companion software, just go to the App Store on your device, look for Knit Companion, one word. You can download the free version and start giving it a try. Anyway, thank you to Knit Companion for letting us do more of these videos and look forward to Android update next month. Good luck.